Now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Cesar Carneo, Weather Rate certified 10 years in a row. So taking a look at our there for you weather headlines for today, we're expecting to see that. Yes, it was it's a wet Monday. We continue to see a bit of mountain snow. It can impact some of our travel for us as we prepare for the evening commute home. And we still have wind and fire issues for parts of southern Utah. So that is one thing that we still have as a concern. But taking a look outside over by Powder Mountain, we are still looking at the snow stake in. It looks about I want to say five inches or so, four inches of snow so far accumulated. And yes, while the resort may be closed, still plenty of snow so far for parts of the Wasatch Front. And it's not a spring storm without seeing a little bit of just rain. Well, oh man, BYU, sorry. Unfortunately, the camera decided not to work with us so far right now, but hey, that's sometimes how it goes. We end up seeing some cameras work, some cameras not. And so far right now, taking a look at satellite and radar, showers built in throughout the day and you can actually see this wrapping around effect that's called the baroclinic leaf where we end up seeing some of the most rain really starting to be produced and that was actually beneficial for us we wanted that kind of rain and it's still passing along so far right now it's slowed down around the salt lake valley and parts of provo also but we could still see plenty of rain in northern and southern utah still going on right now and that's what we want so far for today we ex we actually recorded over three quarters of an inch of rain which ties our record from 2012 so this should actually put us a little bit closer to the 1.99 inches of rain that we normally see well precipitation that we normally see for april will be at around 1.78 if that actually verifies for what we saw and we ex expect to also see that we still have these winter weather advisories throughout the beehive state till 9 p.m tonight and a bit more snow accumulation is possible especially for the higher elevations but we do have some fire weather so we have this red flag warning still in effect for parts of southeast utah and that's just due to the dry conditions and also some wind gusts of 50 miles per hour that we can get actually close to which again then also makes sense why we see this wind advisory because of those wind gusts those can cause issues especially for a lot of the areas in southeast utah that's seeing some of those red flag conditions we do have travel impacts for this evening commute we're going to going to expect to see some slushy if not wet roads for quite a few areas especially in the higher elevation so that's going to be something that we want to definitely keep an eye on as we continue going on throughout the night and watching your weather so far for tonight it's going to decrease in some of that rain but then we get that wraparound effect that's going to continue to produce rain and high elevation snow for parts of eastern utah and parts of course of western colorado and then by the time we zoom out like look at that whoo Wednesday, we start to see the return of some warmth. It's going to be a lot warmer as we could really progress into the weekend, even towards the weekend. Regional forecast, we're expecting to see temperatures be a bit below average for tomorrow and even tonight. So we do expect to see cooler starts for this work week. But otherwise, taking a look at our seven day forecast for St. George, we expect to see the temperatures rebound right back up because of that high pressure system, especially going towards parts of Thursday, Friday and even Saturday and in Sunday, and then we start to cool down a bit back towards our averages, but whew, 90 degree days over for the weekend. Sounds pretty good. Wasatch Front so far, we're expecting to see showers, also a rebound in our temperatures and some sunshine. And then by s Friday, Saturday, we can expect to see temperatures in the 80s. Sounds really great for us. So I'm not sure, Emily, Rick, if you